next one here. Liverpool, Lime Street. Leave Manchester. At 8.30. We didn't leave until 20 to 12. It's tomorrow in almost exactly 24 hours. Liverpool, Lime Street. I'm back. It's currently Sunday the 20th of March. I've now got editing software on my laptop. It's not a brand new laptop. I got it last October for my birthday. All unboxing vlog editing software broke whilst editing that video and that also explains why the background is the Guernsey. I am gonna do videos again. Well this is one for example just been to Liverpool an audition at Lipper. Liverpool Institute of Performing Arts. It was my first audition. I just got back. It's the night before my audition, I changed my monologue. I was originally doing Arthur from King John. For auditions, you need to have a classical piece. So Shakespeare, Jacobean, and then you also have to have a contemporary piece, which some count it as after the 1890s and some count it as, as late as after the 1980. You can only do your monologue in a certain amount of time. Some set it to three minutes, some to two, some to a minute and a half. My devised piece, meant to be based on Leonardo DiCaprio, I was going through the different films he'd done from Romeo and Juliet, Touch Me If You Can. We were meant to make a piece based off something that had happened in the news recently. I just sort of took the speech from the end and learnt it, which it, it may have been alright, but I decided to cut it out. So it was very short. It been a minute. I don't know. I, I, I wasn't timing it. Uh, there was a guy on the panel, uh, Joe, he taught us around the building on the day, uh, and was also in our workshop. He was timing it, so I don't actually know how long it was. Didn't expect to enjoy Lipper or Liverpool as much as I did. The atmosphere there was amazing. 
apparently there's like 800 students there. So I didn't expect that at all. We got shown through to this room 424, which was quite high up the stairs and I didn't like it because you could look straight down, walk an introduction to the course. We had a tour. Uh, we, we got separated into two groups, C and D. So group C had gone off to already do their auditions. We had a workshop. We did games, we did like a one, two, three game and we did what's in the box and we uh, got partnered together a couple of times. And then after the workshop, we went across the road to another building. Most of us started talking to one another. Group C hadn't finished their auditions yet because everyone went in to the audition individually. We spoke about lots of different stuff. Comic-Con came into it. What sort of music did we like? Um, where we were from? Accents? Um, I showed them a Guernsey one pound note and it blew everyone's minds. Cause this girl, Georgia from Devon, there was Amelia, Ellie. There was Nancy, there was Sean and Tom. They were all such like genuinely nice people everyone just got along so well and it was just so nice to meet like-minded people and um, get to know one another and sh have shared interests and then with Sean, Tom, Ellie and Nancy be able to add them on Facebook and keep in contact with them. Only a, a small handful of people where which you really like click with and I thought Nancy, Ellie, Sean and Tom were those people from Lipper. Well, so I was last to audition because I was last to get to the drama school because the day before we were told that we could go down to the hotel reception, get a taxi from there and it should be there within like five minutes. We did that the following day and 20 minutes later it wasn't there so I had 10 minutes to run to Liverpool Institute of Performing Arts, not knowing where it was, really threw everything and stressed me out. On the way back from the audition, I walked past where all that company's taxis were, and it took over 20 minutes drive to get to the hotel. Actually, we don't know, because we just left, so they may have not, never actually turned up. Apart from that, besides that, Everyone was really, really nice in Liverpool. Just felt as if you were walking around home. Nothing um, was ever too much trouble if if you asked a random person in the street where the hotel was, they'd help. The other place I've ever felt like that, apart from actually here, home, was Riga in Latvia last year when we went over for my dad's wedding. All the staff were really friendly. There, there was a waitress called Phoebe who was a dancer, but we were the same age. No, she was really helpful and she me, if I do, if I get into the drama school, um, she, I can always go see her if I need a friend, if, if I uh, need any help with anything. Wasn't able to go on the bus tour, wasn't able to go on the um, boat thing. I wasn't able to go to Anfield. The atmosphere was great, the people were great, the teachers were great, the the course sounds great. They're the only drama school in the UK to digitise their showcase so they can send the showcase off to agents instead of the agents having to come all the way up to Liverpool to watch it. They can just get sent a digital copy, copy it and give it to the next person. So you get that out there much easier than if they have to come all the way up to Liverpool and watch it just once. Get to watch it as many times as they like, they can pass it on and they don't have to come all the way up to Liverpool. So also whilst I was there I saw my friend Toby from Guernsey. He's at Lipper. He's in second year I think and um, I wasn't able to see Rosie. She's in first year. An amazing chat. He was performing at the Novotel. And I'll put it in the description. Seeing him, like, it was really nice to see him. And he was saying about Lipper and the city and everything and the accommodation he's in and 
all of this in Guernsey he has like a um because then if the zombie apocalypse does happen everyone would be raiding his house not that they know where it is but just before Christmas uh, they had a party at his house and then I saw him for his birthday he came over for um and then obviously I saw him in Liverpool Lippo I could he was talking about accommodation, I could move into the same accommodation block as him. So, effect of Lippo and that everyone really gets along and they all go out together. He did, it will probably change to be like my cover photo or something on Facebook. And it was a shame because if I had stayed for Saturday night as well, he said he was going to take me to the cavern on Saturday to get back to, to rest really. Because on Tuesday, I fly out again to London for an audition at East 15 on the Wednesday, I can use two of the same pieces for this audition. I just need to learn a new monologue in two days, which, which is in Loughton, so it's Essex, but there's Nancy at Liverpool, at uh, Liverpool. So, so I'll see like what it's like and a uh, couple of months is gonna be quite erratic, so with auditions, so and along vlogs like this, not every do this again, talking directly to the camera to whoever's watching. And one subscribers that I and talk about East 15, my experience, and the people, and the atmosphere, and the place itself, the area, like. Do you have joined this little of monkeys I have here? All videos, normal videos, for the guys later and farewell. After the workshop, we all went across the road to another building, the waiting room. We went in the waiting room. We went in the went. <clears throat> we went in the waiting room. 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 We went in the renting room. We went in the waiting room. We went in the waiting room.